Hello, working on the Devotion of Holiness. We are in Psalms 119. I just want to make a quick note here. This devotional will prepare you for the next one, which is more in-depth, more more um, what the Most High is expecting of the servants. So we're going to prepare ourselves. We're looking at 145 through 152. Here we go. I cried with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord. I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee. Save me. I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried. I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevented the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness. O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgments. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Asserting thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast found, founded them forever. We're going to go over to Luke 18, 6 through 8. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said, And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth. Now we're going over to second this, um, James, I'm sorry, we're going over to James 4. James 4, 5 through 17. James 4, 5 through 17. Do ye think that the scriptures saith in vain the spirit that dwelleth in us lusts to envy? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the poor, proud, and giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore unto God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil to one another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother, and judges his brother, speaks evil of the law, and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou to judge us another? Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time, and then vanishes away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and do this and that. But now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such boastings, I'm sorry, let's dig in. But ye now, but now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and does it not to him, it is sin. And we do have a God speak. Are you ready? I will give to all that ask. Come to me and travail, my children, for this is the time spoken of by the prophets. I hear your cries. I know your pain. Be still and know I am a living God. Whom means everything that he says. And these are the blessings of the in the endurance of the saints believe thank you jesus for your word um, i'm excited about tomorrow's devotional i hope those that hear this message will listen tomorrow to understand what's it going to take jesus christ is lord seek him now shalom